franchise finally over? Is there a new TV show about Gotham City? And is there more movies coming out that are amazing? I think so. Hey guys, Steve Costello, and welcome to another edition of Steven Saturdays. <laughs> What is up guys, welcome to Steven Saturdays. Today I'm going to be talking about a lot of stuff. Now, first of all, what I want to talk about is um, the new Batman game. Now, I'll post the link to the trailer, but the Batman game, I guess, it's called Batman Arkham Knight, and it features new, newer, well, newer um, villains to the, to the Batman Arkham franchise. Now we have Two-Face, we have Harley Quinn, we have Scarecrow, and I heard, no, I don't know if it's official, but we can... Now we have a now mobile Batmobile. I don't know what how this game is gonna really hit because Batman Arkham Origin really didn't do as well as everyone thought it would. I mean, it, what it had a decent story, it had a good amount of characters, but there were a lot of problems. First of all, it was glitchy as hell. The story was way too short. The characters were not that developed that well. They had to bring back the Joker. They had to bring him back because a lot of people. No one wants watch Bat no one that play Batman games or watch Batman without the Joker. Because obviously the Joker is the game to Batman's game and all that. I don't know, it just it, the the game seems really well done. It, the graphics are amazing, beautiful. It's for next gen consoles. So my debating on whether I should get it or not, the debates on the fact that I have to get a new the new generation console. I still have the original you know, I still have uh, the three sixty. I actually have the Xbox, like the original one with the black one in my basement. Again, like, you don't really know how Batman Arkham Knight will do in, in, in terms of sales and with fans. But, you know, it, it, we just see the trailer and that's really it. I mean, we don't really see anything else. Now, on top of that, I want to talk about this new show coming out on Fox. Maybe this year, maybe next year, but it's called Gotham. Now, it, it tells the story of a young Commissioner Gordon and also a young Alfred in um, just the early days, before Batman, before any of that. And it also tells um, origins of some of Batman's um, famous villains, like uh, the Penguin, Miss Dot, Mr. Freeze, the Riddler, has the Catwoman in it, and also a young Bruce Wayne. Now, young Bruce Wayne is going to be played by David, uh, David Mazzo, Mazzo's, I'm assuming. So, will he do a, a good Batman, well, well, not Batman, but will he do a good Bruce Wayne, uh, and a younger one at that? We'll see. I'm really, I am really a, a psyched for a Batman, not, not, well, for a TV show in Gotham City. I'm excited about that because think we have Arrow, and uh, Arrow so far looks really good. I haven't seen it, but it has, you know, like Oliver Queen, Green Arrow, and also Roy Harper, um, Speedy. So, and I just want that. Like, I'm, I, w I was thinking about this. What, why are we, why are we making? Live action movie for Batman, when we can easily just put that make Batman to his own grittier, darker team television series. Now we they did that with, in 1960 with Adam West, and uh, of course that a lot of people that's what people wanted in the 1960s. But we're in the 21st century now, guys, and uh, I think we want more of a more grittier, darker Batman. So I'm I'm just saying a Batman team, a live action Batman TV show would be excellent to me. And let's do a little quickie thing going on. There's a trailer out there for this, the new Sin Cities movie. Now, I don't know if you guys know what this is, but it's Sin Cities, a graphic novel from Frank Miller. And it's beautifully done. It's dark, gritty, violent, and it's gory, but it's so well done. It has so much interesting characters, so it's a great um, story. And it's like all these stories intertwine with each other. It's great characters, great dialogue, and to have it adapted to a movie, like the first movie directed by one of my favorite directors, Robert Rodriguez, and that would be, basically, it was incredible, really, I mean, it was visually incredible. The fact that he, that Rodriguez shot everything on green screen, and the fact that it looked so good, just is, says how great technology really does work. And in terms of when you're doing it right, Hollywood, what, the, what it does is that they overuse um, CGI or green screen in order to like cut, cut corners, you know, or do shortcuts. But when it comes to a film like this, like Frank Miller's New the War tale of, of characters from Sin City, we need, like, and um, I love how Rodriguez stayed true to the series. He wanted to not, like, 
hear his own version, but Frank Miller's version. The Sin City that came out, the first one was amazing. I saw it. It was, it was violent. It was gory. It was sexy. It was amazing to me. I loved it every minute of it, and I'm really excited for the sequel. The trailer came out. It's a tale of what happens before, during, and after of the first movie. So that that's pretty interesting. I like those type of movies. Normally prequels don't really work, <clears throat> but I guess for this one, I mean, we'll see. We'll see what happens. You know, Jessica Alba was dancing. I mean, we have a lot of new characters, a lot of new, um, great, um, um, great cast. So I'm really hoping that this sequel will just you know, wow, wow in people's minds. Sin City is by far one of the, one of the best comics out there. Any graphic novel, such as it. Well, guys, that really just wraps up everything I have to talk about today. Uh, feel free to, to um, watch any of the videos that I was talking about and uh, give me your opinion on what you think about the Batman game or Batman TV show or anything that I talked about. So, uh, yeah, guys, I'll see you next Saturday.